baby just went into the garden. He's got a couple traps out today. Box what garden? Straight, at, straight ahead by that. Oh, I see him. Starbucks in Roseville. I'm here with Aaron, but uh, he's in the bathroom at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, 6.27, pretty close. <laughs> did you plan that or did they just do it? What? The strip of it. I, I think I just asked them to do it. Thanks. I was really appreciative. <laughs> well, uh, come on. It was still fun, right? I still remember it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Alright, that looks good. Alright, so let's go ahead and go with the, uh, am I, yeah, let's go with the strip club one. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I really remember, I mean, obviously, was your birthday. How old were you? Do you remember? 20-something. Okay, we'll go with that. And, um, oh, yeah, I went to go pick up Daniel and Freddie. You were the last one on my list, yeah. I think, because you're up in Roseville. And I think it was on the way to your house. That's when Freddie threw the gear. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, so it had already happened. So... Uh, that was my Mustang, and it's got a weird transmission where you can only put in the first gear if you're going really slow. So I'm driving along, Freddie's sitting next to me, and he, as a joke, just slaps the oh, no. uh, the gear shift into neutral. And I'm like, vroom, vroom, what's going on with my car? And I kind of freak out. And then he starts laughing, I'm like, it's not funny, like something's wrong with my car. And then he's just like, throws in the first gear but it just like goes crunch Ugh. and the whole car goes chunk and it keeps driving and then I looking back on it I could see it was it was funny what he did and most cars probably would be okay but poor transmission drops out of it so um, I, I right when he did that I was stepping on the clutch I was about to grab it, but he kind of did it right before I grabbed it. So anyways, then, you know, like, I, I threw it back in the gear and then it drove just fine. But then when I got to your house, I, I had to stop at a stop sign and I threw it in first and nothing happened. And at first we thought everything was kind of okay, it just made a loud noise, but then it was alright. And then I realized, I, you, you made me lose my first gear. So, there was that. That was a nice start to the night. <laughs> then we picked you up. We went to the strip club. Oh, we, your went, we went to get liquor first. We went to go get liquor. What'd we get? I think I got vodka. I don't know what you guys got. Okay. I always got vodka, so that's probably why, you know. I don't remember the drinking part so much. I don't know if it was just me. I asked you guys to stop. I know I was wasted by the time we got I there. think we all got something because it just seems about right. Uh, and the drinks there are really expensive. Oh, they're crazy price. And also, they're not very strong, so you're not gonna really get drunk yeah. from those drinks. So it makes more sense just to drink a little beforehand. That way, yeah. you can use the the bar drinks to keep the buzz going. Yeah. So yeah, I told him it was his birthday and to do something special. <laughs> And uh, they, they were just basically like, yeah, we'll do it in a little bit. What's his name and stuff like that? Yeah, it's Aaron and so on. So, yeah, now 
I I just remember you somehow got on the stage, but I don't remember like okay. how that happened. So I was sitting in the VIP section talking because the way I used to go to strip clubs, if you remember, yeah, I had the girl sit down. I would pay her for not giving me a lap dance. I would just talk to her, and generally speaking, I would start crying. Okay, let's move on. So she took my hand and just led me up on stage. Uh, had no idea what was going on. Then she took my hand and tied it to the pole. That's right. No, a chair, wasn't it? Was it was a chair, yeah. Yeah, they sat you in a chair and they tied you to it. <laughs> Both hands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then they proceeded. And of course, oh. me and the, the other guys, you know, we're all cheering and woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I think I closed my eyes at so, some point. <laughs> then, uh, well, you have like... Now, at the time, the, the announcer, the DJ guy, he starts announcing like all of these girls. Now, a whole bunch of the girls, you know, like the way the strip clubs work is that they, they, they'll do these like breaks, but during the break, all the girls need to go out and give la like lap dances. Lap dances. And they're so, and it's like half off type yeah. lap dances two during these, one. or yeah, two for one or what, you know, they do some discount thing to try to get the girls to do more lap dances, make more money and stuff like that. And uh, so when they were, they kept the three girls on stage, all the other ones walked right by you and everyone was walking out on stage and going out into the audience. And of course me and the guys were like, fuck that, we want to watch this, <laughs> we don't care. And uh, so you, you, I think you had three girls standing around you. Eventually, yeah. Eventually more. Oh, okay. So again, my memory is Yeah, pretty... the three, the first one of the three, they ripped my pants, my underwear. Not your I, pants, your underwear. My underwear. My Whitey pants, tidies. Pants down, underwear. Well, I, I didn't see nothing. No, but it was because they ripped the back, not the front. But I don't remember them pulling your pants down. Yeah, I had them down. Yeah, they were about down to my waist, or my thigh. Yeah. Trust me, I remember, because they hit bare ass. Okay, so Keep going. then they proceeded to all. Oh, the, you're sitting in the chair. Then they stand me up. Oh, they stood you up. And then I'm kind of like bent over. Okay. Yeah. Facing the audience, so I'm not, you know, and then they just proceed to spank me. Yeah. Spank me. So I <laughs> the spank part, I'm sure that was fun. But yeah, the underwear thing, I felt a little awkward for you. I was like. Yeah, I still have those. Uh, when we get back to the house, I mean, we should like take a picture or something. I got a video. Find but uh, so, and then it wasn't just three. The, some of them just kept coming on the stage. So I got, I probably. Uh, yeah, I think they all kind of came times. and like took a, a turn. I, it was a lot. I mean, I was <laughs> sore. They just, they just all kind of walked by and smack, and then they walk off the stage yeah. and walk by and smack and walk off the stage. Oh Lord! And and then I I, I told I remember the night I was losing my glasses and wallet. Yeah, so then I guess you, you, at some point you couldn't find your glasses and wallet. They had to turn on the lights. They had, yeah, they turned the whole thing on, the, the whole thing on for me. Yeah, I don't remember that part. Yeah, just, just it was like four minutes, mm. and it, it turns out it was over by the VIP section where I was sitting. But yeah, it's that was uh, probably the second most embarrassing time of my life. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, that was good. What kind of dog is it? Awesome. Anyway.